Was the team disappointed with the result last weekend uh, or did they feel that they played well enough uh, to keep that momentum going this week? Yeah, of course, uh, we were disappointed you know, not to get three points, but I think with what we you know, dished up over the 90 minutes, um, you know, it, was, it was good and it wasn't good enough on the night, so we've got things to work on and um, that's been the message this week and, and you know, we're going to strive to improve that against Adelaide and uh, hopefully we can uh, you know, get the job done then. Sort of one of those games where a near little draw probably was the uh, the right result, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, I don't think I think if we snatched the win, um, we would have they would have been um, disappointed. But that overall, it was a you know it was a fair game, and it was two good teams going at each other for 90 minutes, and you know they were just good enough on the night, and uh, hopefully we can get them next time. Do you think the team settled since the change over to Kev? Yeah, not much has changed. Uh, you know, just I think it's just been lapses in concentration that have cost us uh, the Sydney FC game. We give them three goals and, and then Western Sydney we switch off for one moment and they uh, punish us. Last time you played Adelaide it was an epic come from behind draw. Um, always a big rivalry. You expecting the same sort of thing on the return league? Yeah, um, especially the way they want to play this year. So open and uh, that suits us and it's going to be another entertaining game. And, and you know, I think we've, we've improved a lot since then and, and if, we, uh, if we stick to our structure and, uh, and be disciplined and, and play the way we want to play uh, I don't see us having a problem on a Saturday night. Is there any sort of wanting to atone for that because you guys have walked away from there thinking that you probably should have won. Yeah, we had a couple of bad decisions that night and you know, on any other night uh, we probably, won, probably would have won that game 4 5 nil. So, yeah, there is a you know a sense that uh, you know we want to get one back over them and, and I think Saturday night's a perfect opportunity for that. How do you feel your partnership with James is going? Yeah, it's been good so far. I really enjoy playing with him. Uh, obviously, he's scoring all the goals, but, um, you know, it's... <laughs> It's been good and uh, you know he's a quality player and he's getting some recognition that he deserves. Uh, have you guys played together before, like an underage level at all or anything like that? No, I was in a soccer risk camp once with him and, yep. and that was it. So. so didn't know each other at all before this? No, nah, nah, it's, not, it's not hard to strike up quality um, you know, relationships with players. Uh, you know, he's, got the, you know, he's been overseas and he's played at a high level so you know, it's, it's been easy since he's come. And help too that you're similar ages and similar types of players I guess as well? Or? Yeah, I think we just both like the ball. and. And you know to play to play off each other, and uh, you know we're both I think smart players, and and we feed off each other. You're probably not thinking about this forefront in your mind, but you both probably got aspirations to try and push into the soccerism or not. I suppose helping each other out helps each other's goals mutually, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, you know he, he um, he's been there. He's had he has had a bit more taste than I have, and um, you know I think we're both striving for that. But that's that's in the back of my mind. Um, I just want to perform well for Melbourne Victory and uh, you know get back in a winning way. And, and if we're if we're winning and being successful as a team, uh, those things will come for us. So there's been two losses on the back, but there's no panic or anything like that because you haven't. It seems like you haven't been playing well. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. Um, you know, we haven't been been playing too badly, and um, but that, that's a positive thing. You know, if we were coming here with two losses and we've played shockingly, I think that you know it'd be, it'd be a bit of panic in the team. But um, yeah, everyone's you know relaxed. But uh, we know we've got to improve. From a player's perspective, has it been easier adjusting to to Muskie style of play in the last few weeks, as if other than having a coach who would have come in from outside the club and had a, a whole new philosophy on the game? Yeah, I guess um, you know we would have crossed that path if that happened. But um, Muskie's carried on what we've done, and and nothing's changed. Training's been sharp. It's been fine, and you know you see by the weekend we've kept the same structure. Everyone you know knows their roles, and and if someone did come in from the outside and and change things up, you know we'd have to adapt to that. But that you know, obviously didn't happen.